All right, here I have a new acquisition I picked up earlier this week. It's a uh, Todd Begg Bodega. It's uh, Todd Begg's uh, flagship model, I guess you could say. Uh, something a lot of custom knife makers have nowadays to uh, fund their pet projects. Uh, the Bodega is a larger folder, uh, whereas some other makers have their um, production models, their semi-custom. Strider has a whole number of them. Uh, Hinderer has his XM18 and XM24 and a whole bunch of other ones that different makers have. The Bodega uh, is a fantastic knife. Very unique design. Uh, very um, indicative of Todd Begg's uh, style. Something that uh, most people can pick out that are uh, knife collectors before they even recognize the knife itself. They'll recognize the maker and uh, Todd Begg definitely has a specific style. Uh, this one's a folder. It's a uh, larger size. Uh, closed uh, in this uh, fashion here. It, um, measures uh, just over 5 inches, 5.25 uh, inches, so that's quite lo long for a handle on a folder, especially a folder this um, this size, uh, which I'll get into in terms of handle to blade ratio, but uh, the knife itself, uh, these are titanium scales um, and uh, micarta uh, inlays. Uh, this model itself is green micarta. He also makes uh, options in G10 carbon fiber and uh, titanium uh, design inlays too, if you take a look at their website. Other portion they have here that you can see um, both around the pivot is this um, nicely, I guess you call it jeweled uh, finish to it around the pivot and on the spine and on the pocket clip, which I find makes it a really cool contrast with the satin finish of the blade. Um, the handle itself, uh, which I'll uh, look at, but uh, first it's got an IKBS uh, bearing system. So the uh, internal knife bearing system uh, pivot, which uh, makes it extremely smooth for a flipper. So you can see there's no thumb stud or anything there to use alternatively, so you uh, are expected to use the flipper, except uh, this cutaway portion of the blade handle also works well if you uh, didn't want to use the flipper. Uh, flips extremely well, especially for a knife of this size. I have a Can Onion Ripple, uh, which is about half the size, which of course is uh, quite smooth. But uh, for a knife of this size, it uh, works extremely well. Just a little bit of the thing, flips open no problem. Uh, overall length 9 inches, got about a just under a 50-50 blade to uh, handle ratio uh, uh, with a bit of a troil uh, at the base of the blade here for uh, some closer detail work. Um, just be advised that the edge does start kind of like a um, uh, Hinder XM18, the, the edge does start at the forward end of the, of the uh, little troil here so very light detail work so be careful. Uh, cool indentation here in the in the uh, frame lock portion and on the blade as well I'll give that very Todd Begg look to it. Um, it's a heavier knife because of the, the uh, thicker scales and micarta and everything in its size. It weighs in at about 7 ounces um, which makes it feel quite sturdy in the hand. You definitely feel a uh, good weight to it. Uh, the interesting part of this knife that uh, sets it apart as well is uh, what they call the uh, removable titanium bolt lock. Uh, which is right here. Most of your frame locks uh, are used using a single slab uh, of whatever material, titanium, aluminum, or, or, or what, what have you, that uh, are become the frame lock. But there's a few cool differences here. The removable titanium bolt lock makes it a two-piece frame on the, uh, the lock side uh, of the uh, handle. So here, on this part, you can see a cutaway here. This is one part, and then the part covering the pivot is, is different. Now the, uh, the reason for this, I haven't actually looked up what the official answer is, but what, it, what I can probably say is that you can uh, remove the scale here for cleaning inside the handle without uh, having to uh, screw around with the pivot, which it, with, for an IKBS is not something you want to be screwing around with. Um, I haven't played around with that, but it's just something that's uh, different about this knife. The other difference is the uh, blade, the, um, the lock stop, uh, preventing it from over torque. Uh, most uh, knife makers now use some kind of blade stop, or not blade stop, some kind of lock stop in the uh, the frame here, kind of like a disc or something like the Strider and Hinders and a lot of those um, companies use. Rather, what they have is in the inside portion of the frame here, what you can't really see is an indent, but if you turn it here, you should be able to pick up that there's a little bit of a ledge off the edge of the forward end of the frame, a lock portion here, which touches with the indentation on the top part that prevents it from going further than, than what's necessary for the uh, for the lock. So that's an interesting, uh, unique feature that I haven't seen. 
uh, the back part of the uh, the spine of the uh, the handle also fe features a bit of a more aggressive uh, grip jimping here. That's for uh, what they say for reverse grip. If you want to have the knife upside down, and you want some grip on your thumb. Uh, the uh, the uh, blade material is a Bowler N690. Um, I don't have much experience with this steel. Quite new to it, so I'm not going to provide any opinion on it. But I do hear that it's a high performance steel. Uh, if you, you know that you would expect coming from uh, someone such as Todd Begg. Uh, double tempered and uh, hollow ground. It's a very aggressive hollow grind on the blade, with a bit of a uh, false edge on the top which is uh, beveled in. Features a, um, what they call a uh, deep carry pocket clip, just because the pocket clip, you can put it down quite deep uh, into your pocket. However, that's my main, my only actual complaint with this knife is the pocket clip. It's funny, if you watch my Peter Recenti review, it's the same issue with the pocket clip, because I carry knives every day, and uh, the one thing you do notice if you're using a knife is the fact that uh, how well you can get it in and out of your pocket. Um, I do not really like the pocket clip on this knife. Uh, not for the look, not for the stiffness, which was my complaint with the Recenti, but just because the this um, ball bearing is so far near the tip and it meets very close to the end of this micarta inlay here, which provides very little room for your, um, your pocket to get in. So if you're trying to slide it in to your pocket, your your uh, pants or whatever are gonna are not gonna want to get in there. You actually have to sometimes hold a, hold the pocket still and then fold out this. So what I have liked maybe for future um, thoughts is for this um, ball bearing to come further back, just about to where it meets there or somewhere against here, and then have a lip bent out like you'd expect in most pocket clips to be able to to uh, catch the end of your pocket or webbing or wherever you're clipping it to, so it can uh, catch much easier. So you can casually, which I like to do after I use a knife, casually put it back in my pocket, which is just throwing it to your pocket and the clip catches. Um, overall though, that's a very minor concern, but maybe something to be looked at, uh, because at least if it's a minor concern, it's my, something minor to fix. I don't have no plans on doing anything or modifying myself, but um, maybe that's something that can be thought about. Uh, blade thickness on this knife. Uh, I'll, I'll take a strider and I'll compare it, but the blade thickness is 0.15 of an inch. Uh, standards, uh, quite standard length, width, not thin, but not not uh, gigantic, which is fine, because you want it to be a uh, good balance between slicing and strength. Um, but uh, it's a great knife. Here's a, uh, just for size comparison, for those that are interested, there's the Strider SMF. They are both nine inches in length. However, the differences are quite interesting. It all has to do with blade to handle ratio. Like I said, the Bodega has a blade that is uh, 3.75 inches, but the overall length, again, is 9 inches. And the handle, the closed length, which pretty much is the handle length, uh, is uh, 5.125 an inch, whereas the Strider, it's a little different, blade handle ratio, and this is where it comes into if you're knife shopping, this is something you have to pay attention to. The overall blade length with, uh, for the strider is actually uh, measured out to be 3.9 or 4 inches, which is advertised. Now, that has to do with this little dif difference in where the actual blade starts from the pivot. This, the, the, uh, the, the handle ends here and here, so the difference isn't necessarily a blade over length, it actually has to do with handle length to blade ratio. The strider uh, is a little different because it all has to do with cutting edge. The strider may have a longer blade, but that's all in what I would call blade handle material because the, bl the blade itself acts as a handle for the forward troil which uh, you can use for choking up on the blade whereas the cutting edge is a lot shorter than the um, the cutting edge is a lot shorter than the bodega even though the bodega has a um, shorter blade technically the cutting edge is a lot shorter because the, they both have a small cho a troil however the striders is much more pronounced much larger and has a stop and a, and a small minor part before the blade actually starts. So technically, if you wanted to measure blade uh, handle length, you could say that this entire area is the handle of the strider, where and this is the cutting edge, where this is definitely the cut the uh, handle 
uh, length and blade length of the Bodega. A little different how you, me how you uh, measure things depending on what you'd consider to be most important. But uh, they're both very comfortable. Um, the strider, like I was talking about the roundness of the handle, strider is probably the perfect example of a knife that's not round in the hand because it's a very rigid um, rectangular shape. We call this the Lego, uh, the original um, handle type of strider, whereas the, um, the Bodega has a much more rounded feel when you grip it. It's much more uh, standard throughout the entire grip, whereas the strider has this uh, extending part which kind of works uh, how the hand uh, grips. But overall, uh, I'm not going to compare the knives in quality or anything like that. That's not what I'm getting into. I'm just getting into some measurements and the big differences between it comes to measurements and how it means when you're actually looking at blade length, um, blade to handle ratio, cutting edge uh, length as well. So a very big difference is a perfect example of what the difference would be for knives who are both exactly the same overall length, 9 inches, and have a very similar um, blade length. Uh, the strider is a little bit lighter. It's uh, uh, 6.2 ounces, so almost an almost an ounce lighter. This probably has to do with all the extra material that goes into the uh, bodega. Uh, the thickness of the whole um, handle is a bit thinner, 5 point, uh, 0.54 inches vice the bodega's uh, 0.625, so a little bit narrower. I think the slab, titanium slabs are thinner on the strider. And uh, the other part was the uh, the blade thickness. The strider actually, the strider actually has a slightly uh, thicker blade. This is point. Uh, 165 for the uh, Bodega's uh, 0.15, so a little bit different. Otherwise, that's a very minor difference unless you're planning on doing, you know, some severe prying or anything. But then you probably just want to buy a pry bar. Overall, though, Bodega is a great knife. I'm glad I bought it. Uh, look forward to, uh, you know, getting it out there and, and uh, seeing how it feels. However, the only thing I, I did not like, like I said, is the is the uh, this little this tip of the pocket clip. I have nothing, to, no no problem with this whole pocket clip design. It's this little tip here that getting it into your pocket is a little bit frustrating, uh, and something that might be uh, worth checking uh, into if that's a big concern for you. Otherwise, it's a great knife. I will uh, follow up with uh, maybe a bit of uh, HD uh, macro video, so uh, with the other lens, and then uh, that'll be it. If you have any questions. Uh, let me know. I'll do my best to answer. I'm not an expert on this, but um, and otherwise, ch check out my other reviews.